Hello everyone, thanks for watching my jewelry series. Today I'm going to be talking about quartz movement and automatic movement and what the big difference is and what watch is best for me. On your left is a quartz movement and on your right is automatic movement. Starting with the automatic movement, basically how an automatic watch works, it uses a rotor inside or a metal weight to power the timepiece. The rotor basically oscillates freely within the watch and every time the person who has an automatic watch moves their wrist, the rotor inside will spin. And that spinning motion is transferred in energy that winds the mainspring inside the watch automatically. Now inside the quartz movement to your left is, is powered by a battery. How a quartz movement watch works, the battery sends electricity to the quartz crystal through an electric circuit. The quartz crystal oscillates at a precise frequency each second inside the quartz movement watch. Now there's not really a right or wrong or buying an automatic or quartz movement watch. It really depends on what your tastes are, your price points, if a brand sticks out to you, what's really eye-catching to you when it comes to you buying a watch for yourself or maybe even a friend or a loved one, co-worker, or whatever. Now me personally, I prefer automatic movement watches. Uh, you can see in the movements in both the sweeping hand, the automatic is more smooth and the quartz movement it's more precise more accurate it's going literally second it's more this one is more sweeping it's more smooth uh, when it goes around what I like about the automatic watches I think they're more durable and they're generally more heavier than the quartz moon watches and I just prefer having automatic moon watches because I don't like dealing with batteries some watch companies do not offer quartz movement. some watchmakers do not offer uh, automatic movements and if some watchmakers are strictly automatic and some are strictly quartz and then some are in between will have both and then sometimes you'll find a watch that you like and it comes in two different uh, versions of quartz and automatic although you don't really see that too much with a lot of watchmakers now with the quartz movement they're a lot lighter and they generally are less expensive than the automatic watches uh, they're more precise. Uh, of course, what I don't like about quartz movement, you have to change out the battery every so often, and I really don't like dealing with that. But it's something that you have to do when you have something that's battery-powered. Um, again, it really depends on what 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 what's appealing to you, excuse me, what's really eye-catching, what you really like. I consider the movements, for example, to be like buying a car, like what kind of engine do you want? Do you want a car with this or without that? Do you want a small car? Do you want a big car? Do you want a blue car? That's how I consider watch shopping and when it comes to watch movements. There's not really a right or wrong, like for example, like if you go out and buy an automatic watch, there's nothing bad about it. I mean, again, it comes down to personal taste. I'm going to show you the back of this automatic watch. It uses a Seiko N35 movement. Uh, it's one of the most popular movements in the world. Um, it's quite common. Uh, in part, the watch costs the way it does because of the movement inside. Uh, there are some other movements like the in-house Rolex movements and some of the more European movements, the Swiss movements, for example, they're going to cost you a lot more. So in general, it comes down to personal taste, and those are the differences. Uh, this watch, for example, I wanted an automatic, but it only came in quartz, so I had to settle for that. So it, it all just depends what, what catches your eye in getting a watch, whether quartz or automatic. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.